So a few weeks ago, I was scrolling through Instagram and you know, as you do, I found uh, some little ads that came up for some uh, floor mats for the Jeep. So I've obviously been looking around for different ones. You know, you got your weather techs, your Husky liners. Uh, what's the other one there? Uh, the Mopar ones that I had in my other Jeep. And of course we have these ones down here, which are just the, the super scuffed SRT little uh, floor mats, not the all weather floor liners that we want. So this ad comes up, I say, all right, this look, these look way better. You know, these look really good. And you know, the SRT theme of what we're kind of going for, these look a lot better. Uh, so, you know, I go go ahead, head over to my computer, start typing up, look for the brand, find the brand, look into them a little bit more, watch some reviews, they seem decent. So that is where this box comes in. So I reached out to them, asked them if they wanted to send me one for a video or send me a set and I can check them out. You guys know I keep everything 100% real and honest here on the channel. So if they're shit, I'm gonna tell you that they're shit, they're good, then I will go ahead and let you no. So either way, if you want to get them, they will be linked to the top link in the description. Use BJP as a code for $10 off as usual. And uh, yeah, go ahead and check them out. So let's go ahead and unbox these, check them out, and then we'll get them set up and test them. Maybe we got some snow over here. See how they're going to do and compare. I've used WeatherTech. I've used Husky Liners. I've used Mopar ones. I've used a bunch of other different brands as well. And uh, so we're going to really see if these stand up and uh, you know, they look better. So hopefully they work just as good or better because they look better than the other. Again, we're out here in those, you know, those frigid temperatures and uh, working with what we got to do, you know, so first things first, we got a nice bag, which is actually branded. So that's good, good for them. And then uh, in here we have the actual mats themselves. So these are the back mats you guys can see here. I'm going to get some up close shots here in the sunlight or cloud light, I guess. And I'll show you guys an actual upfront look because they look a lot better. It's almost like a carbon fiber kind of look versus weather tech on the back. They have this special kind of grip on the back, which is these little fibers almost. Now, like I said, the biggest thing for me as to why I went with these ones is simply just because of the fact that they look really good. And I think they look a lot sportier, but yeah, this is what they look like. They got some nice clips here no, down no, at the bottom, no, just no. to clip in. I think this is the passenger side. And then it also, so this might actually be the driver's side. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be honest, I'm new here. Has this nice little grippy kind of strong uh, reinforced pad for where your foot's gonna be for the gas and everything. But we're gonna go ahead and get some close up shots on these, show you guys what they actually look like out here in the sunlight and get you a little bit better of a look. And then we'll jump into installing them, see if they click in, see how they fit and kind of line up. And uh, then we'll maybe give them a nice little test and see if they hold up to what they say they hold up to. We've got these nice little floor mats. You guys can see that it's got this mat here. I did watch some different reviews and looked up some different things. They used to have issues where this would peel off. So if you guys were looking at these before, heard about that. This is actually just built in now rather than being like a piece that was stuck on. So that is solved. You guys can see it's got the nice little 3D mat down here. Kind of an embossed logo kind of stuck on there. Uh, you guys can see it looks pretty good. Um, I don't mind how that looks. It's actually, you know, it looks decent, it kind of blends in, not too bad. Uh, and then you've got these little guys here which are gonna click in on the back side. you can see here. And there's like a little piece of felt right here that goes over the logo, it looks like, I'd assume that that's what that's for. Looks like this logo's rivets right there, so this goes over so that it doesn't uh, leave any damage, I suppose. And you guys can see that this shows kind of how it grips on the back. There's like these little fibers almost that are like kind of little tiny hairs and they grip in to help it from sliding, which is a lot different than a lot of the competitors and how they have their setup to work. So this is actually pretty nice. And then of course you got the little tag down here. So uh, let's go ahead and test out the passenger side with some snow, so wipe it down, see how it wipes down. Cause that's the biggest thing for me is how they clean. You guys can see they're pretty flexible. They're not like as stiff or as rigid or plasticky as some of the other ones like WeatherTech. Uh, they're actually uh, decent. Uh, you can see they're pretty thin as far as that goes. Um, it almost looks like it has like a foam kind of back in here. Uh, but they feel pretty good. They feel somewhat sturdy for what they are. And I think once they're all clicked in, they'll be good. But like I said, they look a lot sportier to me than a lot of the other ones. Like even the Mopar ones just look a lot more rugged and off-road, obviously, since they're from Mopar and they're from Jeep. So uh, that's why I decided to uh, hit them up about doing a video about these because I really wanted to check them out. And uh, I know a lot of you guys might like these over some of the other ones. So I would rather test them first than uh, have you guys go get anything if it's not going to be good. So let's go ahead and, like I said, test them out and see if they're gonna hold up. But so far, as far as look and quality, um, obviously this is initial impressions. Can't really give you a full review uh, over time. Um, I'm sure I'll have one in the future, but for now, 
just kind of giving you guys a first look and uh, just from having them in my hands they do seem decent so let's test it. so as if i wasn't already cold enough uh we're gonna go ahead and reach into the snow so i just have a microfiber because i want to see how that slides on here see if it's gonna you know get caught up which it looks fairly smooth it's not gritty like the weather text which i found that the material on there is more of that like abs plastic a little bit like sandpapery so when you try and slide like a microfiber on it just kind of tears it up and pulls the stuff off so that's the biggest thing. How easy are these to clean? They're supposed to be all weather, you know, floor liners, easy to clean. They look like they're easy to clean and uh, we'll see. Hopefully it'll fade over time. Like I said, I'll do an updated review on that, but let's check that out and see how the snow goes on them and comes off and uh, see how it kind of looks. Just gonna grab a little piece here and just kind of mush it in. Just, just really test it a little bit here so we can see. You have to see it actually just kind of slides right off, which is good. You could probably use some sort of coating. I think WeatherTech and a few other brands have an actual spray coating that kind of leaves it like that. But you guys can see there, now that it's wet, it's, uh, it's a little bit slippery. My hand's obviously wet, so let's go ahead and use the little microfiber, see how it dries off, and see if it still just continues to slide and, you know, be what we want it to be for a good floor mat. So it dried off really quick and easy actually so that's actually kind of a little bit impressive i wonder if you even use some sort of like spray protectant stuff that would uh like a ceramic coating type of stuff that's going to make it just slide right off and i just want you guys to see like I i'm mushing this in like as much as i can and you guys can see it just kind of slides right off and as it melts it gets all collected inside of this area so you do have a little pocket and you don't have to worry about that so that's good. I mean, so far it's getting a thumbs up from me. Um, I was a little bit concerned about the look, if they were actually going to look like what I wanted them to look like, and they do. So grab a little microfiber, just wipe it down before we go ahead and stick it in the car. But now let's go test the fitment, see how that is, and then uh, I can give you guys a final kind of overview and look at them and let you guys know what my final closing thoughts are on this. So as you guys know, fitment is obviously going to be something that's very important when you're getting a floor liner floor mat that's supposed to cover everywhere. So you guys can see there's dirt everywhere, which is spots that should be covered by a floor mat. So let's go ahead and get rid of these old, tiny, look how small this thing is. Like, like what is this covering or protecting? Uh, the answer is pretty much nothing. You can see how dirty they are too. Like it gets dirty here, the sand, the salt from the roads, you know, it's getting tracked in on my feet, the snow, you know, all kinds of, it's, it's gross here. So you need a floor liner that's actually gonna protect your floor. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just slide it in. I'm not even gonna clean it first. Cause like I said, I keep it hundred percent real here. You guys, you guys know that I don't, I don't clean it. Like it's a Jeep, it's my vehicle, my daily driver. It is what it is. You know, yours is gonna look the same most likely unless you're, some weird meticulous person but let's go ahead and pop these in let's see all right so you can see that they're in there i didn't click them down yet i'm gonna get a nice up close shot of that so you guys can hear them click in a few moments later so here you guys can see what the fitment is kind of looking like you guys can see it almost comes up to the edge here there's a little bit of a gap which is you know it is what it is you know it's okay uh but you can see they push in nicely and they fit nicely around them you guys see where the gas pedal is there there's kind of a cutout around where that is so uh, that's to stop it from getting caught so your brake pedal doesn't get caught stuck down. I understand why it's there, but it does make it a little bit weird because I would assume that that's a spot that gets dirty, but there's not too much dirt there now, so maybe I'm just thinking ahead. Well, let's see how they click in, make sure they lock. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> So now being 100% honest about these floor mats, I just found the thing that actually I don't really like that drives me a little bit nuts about these mats. You guys see how it's just a big opening there. There's no real click in spot for these. So it's not gonna actually click in and lock it down. So it's kind of just gonna sit there, which I guess is okay, but it still would have been a lot better to have a satisfying click that really locked them in. Now it would be awesome if they made some sort of insert that went in here to fit whatever your vehicle is so it can just clip right into your little little nipple guy down there and lock in but uh yeah that's one thing that i uh so far that's not you know my favorite thing but they do look a lot better i will be honest they look a lot better than the other mats that i had and they also do look a lot better than the weather techs um as you guys can see let's try and push them around they're fairly locked in i think once they get a little bit more settled as well into the car because they were obviously in packaging then they'll work a lot better. But those little hairs on the back keep it locked in, so it's not like moving around or anything. Let me actually get in and put my foot here. That's uh, that's very good. You know, they kind of cover up behind the brake pedal and stuff, um, which is pretty far, which is decent. As well as over here behind like the e-brake, and you're pretty much good. I mean, they're a little squeaky. That might be my shoes, but uh, you guys can see the, the pads there. It feels good, and they look pretty good down here. So overall, I would say on a scale of 10, I might give them an honest six 
Uh, overall quality of them feels really good. I mean, only time will tell on that one. Um, high rating on the, the quality and the design. Uh, I think the few flaws for me are that it doesn't come completely to the edge over here. I think it could be a little bit better aligned with that. And then also that there's no locking tabs. I think the locking tabs would have made it a solid 8 or 9. Uh, be just based on that, uh, the, the locking tabs are a huge thing to me. But they look really good and they fit in here very nicely. So like I said, they, I think they look good and everything and they're going to do their job. But if it had locking tabs, it would just be so much better. Why couldn't it have locking tabs, guys? If you guys are watching, I'm sure you're watching from the 3D Mask Company, then uh, maybe, maybe look into making some like inserts that can just kind of clip in there that can be for different vehicles. You know, just a little simple plastic piece that can pop in. That way, if these mats are more universal, then you're actually able to get the specific one that you need and pop it in there because that lock would just push it right over to right where it needs to be. You guys can see that the fitment on the passenger side is a little bit off and a little bit strange to me. Uh, you can see it kind of pops a little bit there and it's up on top here where it feels like it needs to be underneath but then with the locking tab that doesn't actually lock it's kind of pushing it around and stuff so uh, I think I think it's in there fine and like I said over time they'll probably settle they were in shipping so you have to take that into account as well but overall the look and the texture and the protection is there uh, it's just you know a couple little flaws I feel like that could be corrected but like I said it's always an honest review here and uh, you know they are what they are they're they're not that bad I think there's a few kinks that needs to be worked out I think they're you know they're decent and I think if you want to give something different a shot and get something that looks a little bit sportier. Like I said, it almost has like a carbon fiber weave kind of look to it. And if you want to do something like that, then you might want to go with these mats. Like I said, that's completely up to you guys. That's my honest review. Like I said, there's a couple things I would change. But if you do want to get them, top link in the description. Make sure you use code BJP, $10 off. You know, you might as well save yourself like 10 bucks. And hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did, smash the like button, comment down below what mats you guys have. If you like them, if you don't, if you've ever tested these or tried them. And of course, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Tell me that I'm worth it. Do I feel so worthless? Tell me that you love me, baby, you never leave. Heart always broken where I wear on my sleeve. Help me to pick up the pieces. Help me find peace in your essence. I've been falling in love.